Wow, that is decadent. That's one of the best soups I ever had. Hi, my name is Marlon. Today we are making a kabusha squash recipe. This is going to be delicious. This squash is a Japanese pumpkin. We are also going to use some ginger, spice things up, and garlic and onion, some turmeric, salt, and some stock, and a bit of nutritional yeast, and a bit of oil, and we are set. So let's get into it. Okay, first, we wanna cut this thing. So, some people like to put it in the oven for like 15 minutes to kind of soften up, or the microwave, but we are gonna muscle through this, but you know you have that as an option. But this is not an easy thing to cut, um, but we are just gonna stab it in there and just kind of rock it back and forth. I prefer this way. Um, this one's actually not that bad, but be very careful. Hopefully I don't lose a finger. And voila. Now we wanna take this seeds, take those out. And this is a pretty small kabusha squash. Okay, now we're gonna slice these down a bit. So I'll start off just by uh, quartering this. We want them all to be relatively even size, but it's okay if there's a slight difference. Again, please be careful. So let's just pretend I said this before I started chopping these. Let's preheat our oven to 400 degrees. And make sure these are not really overlapping or touching if you can. It's fine if there's a little bit, but you know, we, won't, we don't want to steam it if they're piled together. Okay, now we're gonna get some oil on these. Uh, I got a nice uh, handy spray bottle so I can kind of direct how much I'm putting. Move that around so that the bottom gets some coating as well. And we're gonna salt these. So I'm using about maybe a teaspoon, two teaspoons. Okay, let's get this into our oven. And we'll keep that in the oven for about 20 minutes until it is fork tender. I have a medium sized onion here, but you can also use a shallot. I would actually prefer to use a shallot, but I didn't have any on me. That's okay. Okay, next we want our ginger. So you can take a spoon and actually just scrape it off if you wanna avoid using a knife and uh, taking away too much of the ginger. This is one little technique. Do about three cloves of garlic here. If you're a bigger garlic fan, use more. And I'm gonna use about half of this knob, so about a tablespoon. Okay, so I got a pot. Let's turn this on to medium high. And we're just gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil. Okay, and we go with our onions. Okay, onions are brown, so let's get in our ginger and garlic. So before this starts to burn, we want to get in our stock. Now I got a teaspoon of turmeric here. And some nutritional yeast. Add some nice, delicious, cheesy, nutty flavor. Let's get a bit of salt in there. That's about a teaspoon, but we can always add some more later. And some optional cinnamon. I'm just gonna put a bit of like a pinch, just kind of spraying a bit of powder in there. Just gonna give that a poke, see if it goes all the way through easily. Now that can cook for another few minutes. Oh, and make sure you turn that to low uh, if you if you haven't pre-prepped this. So we are gonna cut off the skin. It's gonna be hot, so be careful. You can use tongs or just burn your fingers. And it's totally optional to let these cool down, but you know, we're in a hurry. Okay, so we've peeled our squash, so we're gonna get that into a blender. 
Now, you also can just put this right into the pot, and if you have an immersion blender, that's also an option. Um, we're trying to go for a smooth texture here, so not gonna bother. I got a nice Vitamix that was gifted to me by my MCs for our wedding. Thank you, Mark Max. And so we have a bit of liquid in here, so this blends a bit easier. Gonna add a can of coconut milk. I've actually reserved a small bit that uh, you can kind of blend into a liquid and use it as a bit of a garnish, you know, for the thumbnail. There we go. Look at that. Now, I could put my onion mixture in there, but I'm not gonna bother. I don't wanna put too much hot stuff in here and overfill it. So those flavors have been simmering. It smells amazing, but we are gonna just pour this in here. Looks like a nacho cheese sauce. Now to give this a taste, see what it needs. Wow, that is decadent. It needs a bit of salt. Bring out some of those flavors a bit more. And I would say a bit of spice. I got some chili flakes. Let's prep some cilantro. It's a beautiful garnish for this. Make sure it's clean. Save a couple leaves for the very top. Let's give this a taste. This is a definitely a decadent dish. That's one of the best soups I ever had. It's, I mean, it's, it's high fat in here, but man, this is a delicious soup. That squash is just, I think it's my favorite squash. Hmm. You will impress whoever you make this for. Well, I hope you make it. Let me know if you do. And if you have any other suggestions for recipes, leave them down below in the comments. I wanna hear from you, just say hi. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, do that. And uh, share this with a friend who needs it. Thanks for watching, I got a bunch more videos, check them out. Bye for now.